Hello, in this video I'm going to discuss one-step synthesis problems. And there's actually a pretty good chance that you have uh, already done, seen, thought about, solved one-step synthesis problems. What do I mean by that? Well, a one-step synthesis problem is no more than the question of what reagents are needed to transform one molecule into another, uh, which as you are learning reactions, you've probably been asked uh, or seen in your textbook or, or tested yourself on. Uh, and so one-step synthesis problems, there's a good chance you've already done them. Uh, you have a starting material and a target material and you may have already been asked, what is the best way to convert this compound into that compound? What reagents are needed? Um, and in this particular case, we have an alkene. And we have uh, an alkyl halide. And so if you count up the number of carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in the, both the starting and target compounds, We've added a bromine. It's at the end of the chain. Uh, there's one hydrogen here. There are two hydrogens here. So we're going to add HBr, and we're going to add it using peroxides uh, so that we get the anti markovnikov uh, uh, regiochemistry. So you may have already been solving synthesis problems except they've not been presented to you as synthesis problems. You know, any question that asks, gives you a starting material or starting compound and ending compound or reactant and a product and asks you for what reagents, the stuff that goes over and under the arrow is actually a synthesis problem in disguise. And if you can handle problems that look like this, handling all other synthesis problems involve breaking those synthesis problems down into things that look like this. So. In the next video, I'll talk about two-step synthesis problems, uh, and then we'll move on to more complicated synthesis problems. Thank you for watching.